happy Thanksgiving. Uh, some people are celebrating in various ways. Some people like to sp- celebrate holidays in specific ways. I've heard recently uh, the Super Bowl, some would consider an American holiday. Some people are going to be in Australia for that. That's what I'm hearing. I wonder for what? It's hard to say, but I mean, did you know it was late November? I keep just that thought just keeps crossing my my head. It's late November. It's ba- it's, it's it's Valentine's Day, man. If you've gotten everything <laughs> together, it's Easter, and the time between then and now, it's now. Oh, happy summer to everybody. That's how fast we're moving here. But it's the day before Thanksgiving. We figured we'd do something a little bit different. Didn't want to leave the streets dry for such a long stretch. Obviously, we have. Three games. I know the, the Cowboys are playing the Giants. I believe that's that's not my business. That's it. real ball. That's America's neither, business. No matter neither, what, I will be there. Neither here nor there. But at, at Boost <laughs> Tober just ended. No matter what, Dece- I will be there. <laughs> We've got December staring a December to remember staring us in the face. And and I remember to log into my underdog app. Enter promo code charm, C H A R M, and get a thousand dollars in bonus cash. Uh, and I need that thousand dollars in bonus cash because I GNX was released from the clouds, the absolute clouds. Or was it? We just finished the episode, of course, it was coming. What do you mean <laughs> from the clouds? It's <laughs> <laughs> the most predictable album I've ever seen. You're not wrong, I guess. the once we, when I went to bed Thursday night, Friday morning, and all the albums, I listen, I, I go every Thursday night, midnight. I see what came out. I add it. Rarely do I listen at night because uh, I'm an old man. Sure. It wasn't there Thursday night slash Friday morning. I woke up the next day. I Listen, I know Drake hates this guy. Hey. Boldy James might need to, <laughs> might need to see him. I got a track and a half into the boldy james harry fraud tape and i saw that this was released i haven't gone i i I remain a track and a half into the boldy james harry fraud tape i know i'll get to it i know it i know it's sitting there waiting for me i know it's going to be just as good but i i don't know when that's going to be no clue didn't j cole did he release something or just put stuff on streaming either way way it got overshadowed (laughs) The way oh, I've seen uh, people talking about it, he's like retelling the story of his career. Already I'm out. Uh, but he put, he's putting his mixtape up on uh, streaming. His like old mixtapes. I was going to say, yeah, I think he's just uploaded. I didn't think it was any new, unless he adds new tracks or anything. Listen, we know how he is with uh, adding and subtracting tracks. Uh, yeah, if you ain't heard it already, good luck. <laughs> But it was it was Friday afternoon. I can't remember where I was leaving. Target, perhaps, True. perchance. And just as I'm, I'm, the kids are in the car. I'm, I'm scrolling my phone. I see new album. I dropped everything. I was like, I couldn't have listened to this faster. I carved time out of my day to make sure I could listen to this as as quickly as humanly possible. And it was the correct decision. This album fucking rules. This what rules? Yeah, see, I, I was going to uh, get this, to this. This what? I, I know not what you mean. Which so you're on. It, stuff. You think it's a mixtape? I am 100% on team. This is a mixtape. Why? He's given us. I, I can't even say hints of what's going to happen. He's just telling you this is just what I'm going to do. This is the way I've done it for almost 15 years now. Which is crazy <laughs> to think about. But. One that I, I didn't peep, like the real music heads are like Kendrick albums always come with vinyl. There was no vinyl. There is. I ordered it is today. It? Oh, okay. Did it come out today? Yes. Okay. Shout out. That's, okay. Shout out Big Aaron Blake, uh, who's been tweeting at Kendrick so long, uh, early Twitter that he has old Kendrick replies. That's how. That's what when that word was. The used bird, to be. Man. Yeah, that was real, real chirping. Um, but he, he posted the, the vinyl and cassette, which I was waiting for as a cassette needer. Uh, the cassette was there, which if you're gonna name your album after a piece of, uh, automobiling from the eighties, you better drop a cassette too. 
and he sure did. I ordered both of those kind of right before we got on. When the eight track dropping, that's how I know it's for real, for real. <laughs> um, no, I had not seen the vinyl. That changed, I, but he's like a vinyls visual. Mm -hmm. Like Kendrick kind of does it all, uh, but the heart, the heart. Where I was like, if the heart is on this, there's something else coming. That's like I go back and went like all the parts to make sure I wasn't tripping. Like the part one was April 2010, overly dedicated was September. The part two was on overly dedicated. Like it was re-released for that, but it was on September 2010. Part three was October 10th, excuse me, October 20th, 2012. Good Kid, Mad City was 10 days later. Yeah. Part four was March 2017. Damn was next month. Part five was May 8th, 2022. Mr. Moran was May 13th. Part six was November 22nd. Album yeah. uh, TBD. Part TBD. six, part two, some are calling it. Uh, that's the second crack at parts. <laughs> what, what was the first one? I don't recall it. At all, <laughs> I do think the heart is the biggest tell since it hasn't been on anything. However, Jeff Van Gundy, he's reincarnated, and the reason I do think this is an album, the visuals have been there. He just dropped uh, what was a squabble up music video this afternoon as well, and the 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 vinyls not being ready when it dropped. People from Universal were saying. Friday afternoon, the label got it this morning. Oh, they found like, out what we found out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got traded. La <laughs> Lamar, Kendrick. <laughs> Do you know about this, Jim? You heard about this? What's this? So that, uh, that That's, doesn't I surprise hadn't seen me. That. So that, that is interesting. But I, I'm i still on team tape. If he, one, I do think calling it a tape for some people, not everybody. For some people, derogatory, flirting and harassment, the way some people use mixtape. And I've seen some people, because not everyone loves this album. Shocking. Mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar album. Not everyone loves it. Uh, and there have been, I've, I've seen Kendrick fans who have said they don't like this. And they're calling it a mixtape being like, this is, these are the throwaways. Yeah, that's, yeah something, something better got to be coming. Yeah, that, well, I disagree with it, first and foremost. Uh, the quality is not the issue here. I saw Bomani tweet out, if this is a mixtape, it is the the best mixed mixtape of all time, which, inarguable. Low bar, yeah, yeah. come on. <laughs> I heard stuff mixed in uh, fire, uh, fire departments. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, come on, man. I mean, the old. I mean, actual five alarm fires, not even smoke detectors, that's light work. I was gonna say Gunna's uh first album is a free man, you could hear uh the smoke detector going off. So that's so yeah, I mean, I, he's right, but low bar. Extremely. I mean, I the old remember the old volume sound on like the, the 2010 MacBooks? You used mm -hmm. to hear producers mm -hmm. turning that up, which definitely controls nothing on other than the volume in the room. So that was always funny. I don't I don't think it like there are too many samples on here to pay for like uh, Luther uh, alone had that cost more than every mixtape ever up until this point. I mean, Luther ain't collecting himself these days, you know. I don't think it means it was cheaper. Depends on who's doing the negotiating. If, if what I hear about this uh, Anthony Top Dog character, then I imagine it was <laughs> pretty smooth sailing. It feels like a it, yeah. I was gonna say it sounds like dub, but it feels like the sound is local to him. The sure. production is local to him. The features are all local. So that mixtape sound. So I either way, do you think this is the last mixtape or app? Do you think we get another one? The Super Bowl's February 9th. Do you think we get another full length project, whatever you call it, by February tenth? I do, but that doesn't make me think this is a mixtape. I think that's what I said. Yeah, whatever you call the next one, or yeah, this, yeah, 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 do you yeah. think there's more? I, I think there's more on the way. Again, I, it'll be called an album, but I do think there's another collection of songs in whatever way it comes. Yeah, I mean the 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 track listing on this, the samples, all of it to me screams album. I the heart is the the only thing that would give me any pause. Um, to me, like he says it in the, the first on whacked out murals, he's just like, I'm not, there's not gonna be entendres on this. These are, this is straight rap. I am rapping. I'm angry. I'm getting it all out. I'm Tupac now. 
And that to me is why I think it's an album. Tupac and, and Biggie, as, as much as they're aligned, Tupac put out like 75 albums, you know, what I mean? mm. <laughs> like Biggie, Biggie put out the two, no question. He got the yeah. two out. Pac was dropping constantly. That's where I think mm. he's, he's saying like out, I'm not taking these breaks any anymore. Like I'm going to be dropping frequently. Mm. I was just, I, I it was, it was, um, shout out to Jinx and Jones. I was listening to them. I was trying to remember who in particular said it. But they were saying, to what you're saying, they think that's why it feels like a mixtape. Like on a mixtape, you used to experiment. Let me rap like Nas on a song. Let me rap like Tupac on a song. Let me scream mustard for a while. Like, let me just like experiment and do stuff. So I see both sides of it, but it's interesting to hear both like people saying, this is why it's a tape, this is why it's an album. Yeah, same reasoning for both. Mm. Um, He's got us in yeah, a box. It's tough. It, like they're... There used to be obvious differences, and when everything just goes on streaming now, they could he could come out and say, "Yeah, this is a mixtape tomorrow." Like Future just dropped mixtape Pluto. Obviously, I think we all are in agreement that that's a mixtape. <laughs> I, this is where I like. Does it really? It really only matters for like contract stuff, right? Yeah. So it's. I mean, I know we're. Like we're at the point where I download and listen to a mixtape the same way I do an album, but right. I don't. Is he? Is he got a deal? He's got to get out of. I thought he was kind of already not with TD. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's like, I'll put out whatever, whenever. I've kind of been right. trying to do that. Yeah, I don't. Because even I, I was scrolling Instagram earlier and I saw uh, someone said that Lil Uzi Vert in Lil Uzi Vert's comments. Uh, sure. Someone said that this was his his endless by Frank Ocean just to get out of his deal. Uh, EA two was just put out to get out of a deal, Can and he liked the that. GNX? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, definitely does happen, no doubt. Mm. I don't. I, to your point, I don't think that's uh, Kendrick was laughing about. Drake's pockets throughout the entire beef. And... Yeah, so I again maybe so, but I didn't really get that. Like I just got to if so if this was the rushed here, damn, he really is moving different. If this was the rushed project, like let me just get me out of my deal. It's like wow, he is he on a different level. I don't know that it, it this was rushed at all when when he dropped the not like us video. The track two squabble up was the intro to that video. That was June, July when that video the dropped. Video I know the song came out July. May. The video, yeah, because yeah, Juneteenth, and then I think the video was July. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so that's been what four, four or five months, mm. just simmering. I know DJ had. I've, I've been trying to find the video. Did you see the video of him? Uh, doing his radio show, talking to the two women who were like, man, I want to hear that broccoli song. And, and he's being real coy and she keeps looking at him like, why, why do you keep talking like that? Like that, it went viral <laughs> like a month ago. It was very funny. I, Twitter search functions broken. So unable to find yeah, that. Forget about it. Speaking of music, uh, not music videos, but videos pertaining to music. Have you seen the Timberland video? Mm -mm. Buddy, or music like, producer not, Timberland. It's somebody who kind of looks like Timberland, being like, "This is how every Timberland video was in the early 2000s," and it's just him, a lot of eyebrows, big coats, <laughs> and facial expressions. Listen, he's got us <laughs> down pat. He read us like a book. I don't know what to tell you. Timbaland reposted it yesterday and just, like was having fun with it, which I appreciate. I like when people are able to laugh at themselves because this thing. <laughs> So fucking funny. No, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> I'm gonna have to send that to you because it kills me every time. Um, I don't know. To me, this was like a declaration, and this whole album tape, whatever you want to call it, it's it sounded like a, a very clear declaration. One doesn't say Drake's name on the entire fucking thing. Didn't put not like us on it for the immediate platinum status. Another thing. reason I think the album is coming. Even I don't think it's like going on anything. I, I kind of, because I know he doesn't care about that, but this feels like a, listen, Kendrick, man, 
mean, you've got the biggest song maybe ever. Like, <laughs> it has to be on something. Uh, sorry. Call it. Put it on whatever you want, buddy. We're putting it on. Throw it on the end of Section 80 if you want. But we're getting some of those clicks, man. It may end up if if something else comes out and then there's a bonus edition uh, after LeBron invented it three days later. Maybe it will be one of those bonus tracks. He has done that before. Uh, what was the what was the song he had with Dr. Dre on the first one? Women, Weep, and Weather. Uh, the recipe. Yeah, smoke recipes, yeah. Yeah, the that wasn't on the original Good Kid, Mad City. It like did, deluxe, even though it came out like whatever. a year before. <laughs> and yeah, it came out on the deluxe. So if it ends up on anything, it will be on a deluxe. I don't, I do think it was very intentional. Although in the intro, mm -hmm. he clearly alludes to him. He twice bleeps out what he says, which I always fucking hate. I hate that. Why you do it, man? That's, that's why you do it. He's probably like, I'm not going to say off. anything. I'm just going to, yeah. That's like when I told him, Mick. <laughs> In my house. No, it's true. It is true. Uh, I saw Hoope Fiasco and a couple other people say, uh, when he says, uh, laughing at blank on trial, but you're all under suspicion or whatever. Uh, that was a Diddy line. That may be needed to be said, uh, blanked out for like legality purposes. So I understand that. This would be the case to me. Al mixtape, you could have no rules on a mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Nope. I could sample anything. I could say anything. Album, that feels it. Like if you're going to press the pause button. But I did hear people. I didn't see the trailer that came out for this. Apparently like seven minutes <laughs> before the album. But apparently there's music in there that's not on this. Correct. So that's and there's also there's two cars in the trailer. Hmm. I think I was I think it was Guardy B that had mentioned that. Like there's there's two cars in the trailer. We just see one, of course, on the cover of this one is the second one something to come. This is his sweatsuit. <laughs> hey, listen, I like Kenny. He could never do sweatsuit. No. Stop it. Stop. Hey. It. If uh if Luther and Gloria are any in, uh, indication, maybe he could. I don't know if this is a take. I think those are my two least favorite songs on the tape. Wow. A tape where I like every song. Like, I don't skip any of them. Something has to come in last, and I think it's the two. I think I would just prefer if they were scissor songs, honestly. Interesting. Like, I don't hate the, I don't hate the song to beat. I like the sample, of course. But in terms of everything else on that album, no, nah, he on his West Coast dance around uh Hyphy shit, L.A. Bay, uh, combo I, shit. I think those two songs, and I love how this is just going to be 30 minutes of us debating if it's a mixtape or an album. I think mm -hmm. those two songs are why it's an album. If it were just a mixtape, yeah, it would have just kept, it would have been the 10 tracks. Those two wouldn't have been on there. There would have been like three more GNXs, uh, which that seems to be most people's least favorite song. I like it. Oh, I know I'm not going to listen. Yeah. I know I'm not going to listen to it every time, though. <laughs> well, I will. Tell him Trilly did it. Tell him Trilly. I think the the lyrics and the features are unbelievable on GNX. I think there is going to be times in my life where I already feel like I'm I have anxiety, and that piano is gonna that that cat they threw on the piano and pressed record is gonna give me a panic attack. One of these. Tell him Heathcliff did it. Tell him Garfield did it. <laughs> nah, that one goes. That I do. I, see I like it a lot. How people wouldn't, but I do like that one. The I've seen a bunch of people put out lists. What What is your favorite song on the album? If If the slow the slow jams are your least favorite, there's an TV easy one for me. Banger, man, you say what's the one? There's an easy one for me. TV off is unbelievable. It's not that. TV, I don't. I can't say favorite right now. But the hard part six is a beautiful, beautiful song, man. Um, I really like whacked out murals. Uh, I like reincarnated and man in the go like just something different. Mm -hmm. Favorite though, it's either TV off or Peekaboo right now. One of them two. Peekaboo goes crazy, and I think is it AZ Chic? How do you say? I feel I like don't if know I miss say a single name of any of the features, <laughs> not a one. I feel like. Uh, well, I agree with you. I don't know how to say any of them. His specifically, I feel like if I mess up the the a, everything after A Z, mm -hmm. it it could be a slur. Like I'm oh know, for sure they all very, that's why I don't, I don't. Hey now, hey now, say now. 
that's my clip. I hear that, and I'm I'm ready to do dances. I know I can't do. What, like Again, Russell I, yeah, I don't think I don't think there's a bad song on even the ones I don't prefer. I don't think are bad. That's why. I, Again, seeing people, not even, I can't even say people's opinions I'd respect. They're still on Twitter. I don't respect anybody's opinion. Uh -uh. Still on Twitter. Um, but like people I know weren't hate listening to this. Sure. Like, yeah, no, it was like two or three songs. I was like, that's one, I, I need to know these two or three songs that you liked and did not like the others. Because it feels similar enough to where you, if you hate it all, you'd hate it all, which I would get. Right. You wouldn't just be like, I like GNX, but not Peekaboo. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious, like, if people are only, like, two tracks, I'm curious what the two, three tracks are from that side. Squabble Up might be the most impressive song because, like I said, we've been sitting with just the the intro of that. We don't even get the sample in the, the Not Like Us music video. And people have been calling it Broccoli. People have been... <laughs> Like, we're never going to get this song, and I just want to hear it all. For it to not just live up to the hype, but to me surpass it is one of the toughest things to do in music. Like, I, mm -hmm. people heard the Million Dollar Baby, uh, the Tommy Richmond song. He put that tweet out months before it came out, and people fucking hated the full version of the song. <laughs> to have a snippet out for that long and for the song to be better than the snippet is so difficult. Yeah, see, that's I, I generally kind of stay away from like if, if they play a song and another, i'm just i'll hear it when i hear it um so maybe that's why again squ squabble up not one of my favorites but i think it might be the next single though like if they don't go if, if oh yeah they, they put the out the video single, today did, you put okay, out the video yeah, today yeah, for squabble okay. up i would say that feels single ish uh, mm -hmm. and it uh not a price suck what's that guy done this year has he made a good sign has he made a song that's charted or streamed or been good at all TV off is he? Is, uh, I don't like it because it emboldened the least funny people in the world. Oh, you're a grouch, Mick. What is this? Have you said? Remember that one piece of media uh, where a guy screamed? What if he said mustard instead of what he actually said? Terrible, just terrible. Uh, <laughs> you out on chill, guy. So you out on yelling must. Is Kendrick pro or anti chill guy? Has to be the most anti chill guy we've ever seen. Have you seen the cover of the album? <laughs> He's doing the chill guy. Does have his hands in his pockets. That's what uh, I, I get. He's. I, it must have been uh, reincarnated. You love war? No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that pissed me off so much reincarnated someone ran it through ai for it to be tupac's voice and they were like listen to how seamless it is i already fucking heard how seamless it i didn't need to hear the ai tupac version <laughs> to know that it was like a the most one of one pristine the way he's rhyming the way he's carrying bars over into the next bar. all of it was perfect tupac impression i didn't need fucking ai i didn't need a small village in uganda to burn down because of all the electricity and fossil fuel needed to make that ai i didn't fucking need that no one did i also saw people uh for tv off they were like ah this is the anti version of not like us like if you take not like us and uh, put it right over this beat the dj mustard beat yeah no shit well yeah <laughs> But I will say I did. I don't generally like or listen to mashups. The "Not Like Us" lyrics with the TV off beat goes crazy. Of Insane. course. If I play, what, what's another famous mustard beat uh, from 2010? Oh. I'm sure that goes hard well, too. I, I, I got to turn my tone on again. In 2010, I'll just hear them little three notes and be like, "Oh, brother, it's not this again." I think he stepped up. Like he still has his sound, of course, but I think he's just gotten better. It's like, horns I I, I, now. Yeah, well, outside of just three keys, so he's he's stepping it up. <laughs> he found more instruments. Yeah, no, that he's that, the one I uh, feel for and all that. Like I'm sure, like, hey, all the McDonald's at you and all this is like cool for now, but he's just gonna get screamed at. That that that's his life now. So I'm sure he's accustomed sure. to it. He knows it, but this is your life now. I also I haven't seen many people point this out, man. Uh, May a man at not man in man at the garden. That's just one mic. Yes, yeah, uh, watching Knicks game. If Nas was watching 
Julius Rant man at the garden. That's what I took from it. The car Anthony Town story. It's one mic and it's also in the air tonight. I didn't realize before how much those two were similar oh, until I heard up. this. The build up the the mm. the exact tempo, all of it. Like you can put one mic over man at the garden flawlessly. I did hear no, it was for reincarnated. It was like he starts like the style is Tupac, but if you listen to like the words, are like they hear Eminem, and I listened to it after that, and I was like, "That's interesting." It's int- like you can, I think you can tell it one of like the aggression, the delivery is Tupac, but they were saying right. like his words, like who he's listened to more. Kendrick has been influenced more by Eminem, and it shows. And I was like, "That's after spinning it again." I think it's merit to that. Yeah, I don't think that's that's inaccurate. And I I mean he's talked a lot about Eminem and mm. and how he influenced him. So that isn't that as shocking. And it makes sense. I do think did you find that as the track went on, it, it became more Eminem because the opening is pure Tupac. Yeah, I think it kind of because the last verse is just Kendrick, right? Is that the Yeah. 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 I feel like it fades. Maybe it's <laughs> Pac Eminem. He's reincarnated as both. It would make sense if if if, if it's Shikour. kind of if he's making fun of Drake's AI track, which he clearly is. Drake had three different people on that as well, uh, which he referenced in the and whacked out murals. He referenced Snoop Dogg sharing Taylor Made, uh, blaming the edibles. <laughs> I do look, Snoop just kind of roll with whatever punch, man. If the Steelers was in the Super Bowl versus the Raiders, he would be allowed like in both locker rooms. Like it's just, it's like, yeah, man, I respected you. And you, you retweeted the post. Yeah, it was the edibles. Ha ha ha. But also put the crown on you. You know, I like you. Ha ha. I just smoke weed. Um, it's me and Martha. Just having ourselves a just day. Just a couple of, yeah, a couple of pals. <laughs> a couple of felons just hamming it up. Uh, yeah, he'd be at the Raiders, Steelers. AFC championship AFC, game, I yeah. guess, uh, with the Rob Lowe hat on for certain. He'd be a charger. I'll say chargers then. He'd be a charger. <laughs> oh, you know, this is the city, but you know, I have my black and gold. Uh, Dodger blue, not nearly long enough. That could have been a like Dodger blue. 35 minute song. I would have been fine with that. <laughs> the one time and I like, this is exactly why I don't do it. I looked, I was like, what are people saying? So I saw like, the Kendrick Lamar GNX songs ranked, and the last one was Dodger Blue, and I stopped reading. I was like, I <laughs> again, your opinion, but I, I don't have to. I, I'm not complicit in this. That's a terrible opinion. I also Is did it the think... worst because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was another album where you had to unlock the features by waiting a few days. Mm. Uh, I thought for sure that was Greedo on the hook, and uh, it mm. was apparently Wally the Sensei, which is there a great. I thought one of them was Jack Harlow, but I said it couldn't be. You saying some words Jack Harlow can't say. That would have been insane. That would have been insane. Yeah, just with Tursky. Uh, Well, listen, there is one of the cats on there is Mexican, so I don't know which bird. I don't want to put it to him, but it's got to be Peso. Probably, but I don't know what he sounds like. You know what I'm saying? If I'd have to hear the verse. But one, I said, man, that sounds like Harlow. Uh, the woman singing uh, throughout the album. Yeah, her. Uh, <laughs> with, and that's an. I was like, how? I don't think this was yet rushed per se, but he just found that woman singing at the Dodgers game for the mm. Fernando Valenzuela thing. It was like no, game one of the studio. World Series yeah, yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, Senor Lamar was very kind." See, wow. yeah. <laughs> wow, I said, "Damn." Yeah, I think he had been. I mean, we know he's been in the studio all year. Um, so I think he was building it out. I think really the uh, the pop-up. What was the name of that fucking Amazon concert? Yeah, the pop-up. Kenny and Friends. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny and Friends yeah. pop-up. Um, I think that's when he was like, this is just going to be the most L.A. sounding album in some time. I think all, I've, I guess that's, I think it's what makes him honestly great. Like, it's like, was he doing this just to like, he would do an all LA, all Cali album just to do it. But on the flip side, I feel like it's also 
because again, he's like, yeah, I didn't squash the beat. Yeah, that don't sit well with me. <laughs> I think it's very funny he released it less than a week after Future was like, beef? What bad? I didn't even, I didn't even know what he meant uh, by all that stuff. Kendra's like, this is exactly what I meant. And you could be next. Uh, I did think some of Future's comments were taken, uh, not taken so literally. Away. Yeah. Yeah, because he was like, I didn't get offended, and he literally left me out of the top three. I should have been furious. I'm just too solid. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> and Metro, people were like, oh, Metro's coughing, please. Metro had a whole paragraph being like, no, I really don't like that guy. The whole album wasn't about him, but I definitely don't like that guy. Right. I saw no uh, please cop by anyone. Now, the only thing I will say uh, more on the future side of things Jeffrey is home, so the, his tone may have changed a little bit there if <laughs> if the Draco got uh, put placed on the table. Uh, no, I, no, not what you mean about Mr. Jeffrey. The kind, Senior Williams, as we call him. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, it. all of it felt like, okay, I, I can work with only producers from my city. I can only work with rappers from, and they don't have to be the big ones. I don't have to go get the superstar names. I can go put people on because I love my city and my city loves me like that. I could put out a sound that none of y'all have to like. Every After everything in this beef, I feel like it was, oh, uh, well, you know, Kendrick had to give Drake his moment. This is Kendrick Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Finally got some eyes on him for the guy with like the biggest grossing tour ever. <laughs> and so he's doing all this. Like, I don't have to put the biggest song on there. I don't have to work with Tyler Creator or Dr. Dre or Snoop or any of this. I could just keep it within the city and people will still like it. And if nobody outside like our area likes it, I'm completely fine with that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to play this at the Super Bowl in front of the country and the world. Right. But if they never heard it, I could just go right back to, to Rosecrans and be as good as I ever would. Like, can you, can you do a song talking about how even you and your guys not together business wise anymore, but they steal your brothers talking about how you're the fault of it. Can you do that? I don't know if he can. Drake says rap, he raps weird now. So, where? Uh, well, yeah, what did he say that on a song? Right, he said it on his new song. <laughs> also, a tough look to pop out, <laughs> braidless. After uh, what is it, the braids? <sighs> you got to right. He should have kept him forever. <laughs> after that, he, with less and less hang time than Jalen Brown, he should have. Hey. He should have died in those braids. <laughs> he should have never. Some say he did. <laughs> right. <laughs> He, he was just a kid, man. People pointed out he's never done acts, academic stream. That's a tough scene. Uh, <laughs> Yet. <laughs> ah, listen, after that, uh, I know I saw something recently like Kai Sinat said he, he blocked him or changed his number on him or something. Like, like Drake did that to Kai, not vice versa. Uh yeah, he's he called Steve. Who's got beef with Steve Lacey? Who the fuck? It's fragile ups. <laughs> uh, I've seen a lot of people. Lacey like, posted like, "Who trying to be my yeah. fragile up?" <laughs> <laughs> We've seen a uh, a rogue fog machine almost take Steve Lacey out. <laughs> God bless his soul. Um, <laughs> but, but just one uh, of those, like, yeah, I like I can do. Can you? I know you got people close to you and friends and all that. Do you have? Because again, you, like your whole the heart part, we just it just never existed. What if I told you about when me and my best friends in the world kicked it and how we even got here? <laughs> would, would everyone like that? And we just pretend the other one did not exist. It is a. It, I think I'm just out. Let me, I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this correctly. I like, like, it's such, it's such pristine storytelling on the heart part six. Mm. It's not a song I need to revisit. Like, I know the story I've heard. I, you just told me it. I don't need to hear it again. So that it's a, it's a tough why one. Ever listen very, any album again. Why no, that's not it. That's not it at all. And when I think of rewatchable movies, it's never like the epic Oscar winner that gets in like, oh, I'm watching Oppenheimer 12 times a week. No, I'm watching Speak like I, rem <laughs> I remember when The Hangover came out on on demand, it set every record for like the most times 
it was streaming wasn't even a word yet. Most times watched on demand. On demand. Yeah. yeah. That is the replayable. That's uh tell them Peso did it. Tell them Kendrick did it. Tell them that all the other people on that song. I don't know their names did it. I'm not saying I'm never listening to it again because I'm just playing the album through. I'm not doing a lot. There's not a lot of skipping happening, but even the Tupac song again, I, I like, I appreciate the artistry. It's a very well made song. I don't listen to two regular Tupac often. So I don't know why I'd listen to the fact that had on your head, Mick, this is, this is nasty. Work. Uh, another East coaster repping hey. LA like, like Pac. Yeah. Oriole uh, Shakur. <laughs> I do think sneaky under all the layers the part that probably bums drake out the most jack antonoff jack shook knight antonoff taylor swift's producer producing uh, most of this <laughs> album from the sound <laughs> like that's crazy that's technically the biggest producer in, in music right now like very technically it's not my favorite by any means that boy was thrilled to play some instruments for a change. I'll tell you. <laughs> Did you see? I, I don't know who this is, but all the Father John Misty. Oh, God. <laughs> so funny. And then I don't know if it's somebody like from the or just close connected. It was like, no, fun fact, not even kidding. We were like 10 feet. Like for one of these albums, we were in the same studio 10 feet away. So, yeah, it was like yes. it was A and B studios. Yeah. <laughs> they were in so, different yes, Father John Misty is Kendrick Lamar <laughs> and vice versa. I said, wow. Like, a, what's a coincidence, no doubt. Dating back to like 2010, <laughs> every time. Kennedy and Lincoln, man. It's just too, it's too many coincidences, <laughs> man. It's just, and this was dropped November 22nd. You understand? Yeah, that was. Kendrick thinks about it all, as do I. I'm a noticer. But headshot of the year. I'm just saying, Kendrick folks started in Chicago and moved to L.A. I, 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 maybe we're all just on the same accord, man. I don't know. Hmm. But having the the Swifties behind this, because the uh, it had been rumored the last like month or so, Taylor Swift's going to be on Kendrick Lamar's next album. No, no, no. Uh, her main producer some of them, yeah. <laughs> executive producing the whole thing uh or is this there's another album for taylor swift to be on she's on the heart part seven certainly i won't rule that out by any means but i do think he's going to stick with this this la sound for a while like, i don't think he's going back to a national sound i don't Think we're gonna hear Young Metro's tag anytime soon, unless he's no. featured on one of their songs. But he doesn't seem like he wants to be featured on anyone's song at the moment. No, he said fuck him. It's plural now, so who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a crack of the bat album. A moment. Do you think this was this like? Uh, when did all the beef start? Like March, I think it's when like like that came out. Do you yeah. think this is the album he had all along? And of course, like you add in lyrics as you, but do you think he had this planned or did it change anything? He's like, uh, nope, I got to go more LA. I got to go more California. No, like I said, I think it at all. I think the he was going to do this anyway. The beef happened. I had to pause it. And then I got back to what I was doing. No, I, I genuinely think it was once he had the show on Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. I think whenever he, he planned that show is when he decided I'm going to go this way. And now the show I, we talked about it. There were people from across the world complaining, like, I, who's this clown? Like, actual clown on stage. And everyone from L.A. was like, oh, man, I can't be, believe he brought out him. I can't believe this guy's getting his shine. I can't believe this guy. Um, so I think whenever he decided to do that show with Amazon is when this concept was born. And I think, like, throughout the beef, he kept bringing it back. At first, it was like, we're American, you're not pussy. Like, he started broad. <laughs> and then he was like, why do I even care about that? Because even on, on Dodger Blue, he's like, listen, if you're outside uh, the 10 freeway, that's not, like, I, I don't want to hear it, pal. Like, he's... I don't care if you don't like L.A. You ain't seen L.A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had you I... get pressed in, man. You going to the Staples Center and back to your hotel, man. Stop with this.
he's narrowed it to a point it's just gonna be a single street soon like he's gonna you know, like, if you're not on that corner you're not on rosecrans man you wasn't there if you didn't see the spaceships you wasn't there yeah i don't i i i very much think this this happened throughout the course of this year um throughout the beef throughout all of it and i like I don't know what you hear so many stories about other albums and other artists. And it's just like, like Mac Miller has an album coming out, uh, mm. post, uh, posthumously. Yeah. Uh, mm. and I was reading, uh, his estate put out, like, this isn't some slap together shit. This was like a very completed thing that he was going to put out like nine years ago, but then made a different album. So it's just like, so you had, you did the work. <laughs> Right. You made an album. It's not the Biggie do it. It's not that. Yeah, right. Exactly. Like mm-hmm. it is a completed album. So that's always fascinating to me. Like you had a whole album done and you just decided to make a different album instead. And you all you knew this one was good. You had told people how to proceed with this one should you die. Mm-hmm. So that's always interesting to me. Like, had he been working on something else? push that to the side and now that's what's coming next um or is that just done forever well that's more what i was i was like was this like okay if there is another project was this was gnx the this is what i'm on let me now i'm on to the next just as an artist or was this the one i had to do so i could put my feelings into project number two yeah this this was quite a balancing act if that is the way because this you could make it super la if it if it stunk everywhere that would have been a, a bad look like it, it it couldn't stink to a national audience even if it was super la i agree i but i do wonder to the point i was like what if this d- really did stink how many people would say it right now because there again like there's still I hate we've even brought him up this much in talking about the album, but any Drake post gets commented with Kendrick stuff. Any Kendrick post gets commented with Drake yep. stuff. So it's it's brought up. I wish that would end, kind of. Like, I wish we, like, it, it's over. In my eyes, it's over. We <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. Bloodbath. Like, it was an absolute. He said it on the Euphoria cover. Like, this is going to be a historic bludgeoning. Uh, and it was obviously everything sports now. And I mean that as derogatory as possible. Like everything needs to have metrics. I saw people posting like day one streams. I don't give a f- Is the music good? I, I mean, it's <laughs> one of those, like I saw through like seven hours, he was on pace to break. It's like, oh, okay. That's a like a cool tidbit, but it affects how good or how much I enjoy the music. None. None. Uh, the biggest songs every year typically trash you know <laughs> not from rap right. just in general pop right. music is not the barometer but it's the most selling hmm. I, like i you gotta uh, that's 50s 50 is the skip bayless of music he was the one who really started pointing to record sales when he was dragging uh ja rule around like steve francis through queens like that was <laughs> that was it, when it it was that like him and uh was it graduation and um was it Massacre? Curtis? Yeah, Curtis. Because Bomani was talking about it earlier. He was like, when did that start? And somebody pointed that out. That's when it started for me. He was like, that was for sure. He's like, that's when it was at its peak. He's like, but I don't think that's when it started. And I think, like, I agree. And people were saying, you know, people, rappers have always talked about their sales. He's like, that's not what I'm saying. Like, bringing right. up, like, my chain's platinum because my album went platinum is not the same as saying, like, well, I did the most stream. I'm automatically the best. Like, right. me rapping about, like, I went platinum because... <laughs> My shit's the best. It's selling or streaming this much didn't mean anything. And I got to go. I want to go back and look through his timeline. But people are pointing like stuff kind of the late 90s is when it like the I think probably like just the flash era, the bling era. You're getting into that. That's when it kind of stopped being like I got bling for bling sake. And then it kind of transitioned to, well, what do you how many albums did you say? How many records did you say? What do you got going? And then. Yeah, Kanye 50 was probably the peak. Oh, I I definitely think it was 50, but I, I think it was even before. The, what was that? The Rolling Stone cover where it was like these two are squaring off. 
it was uh mm. the second 9 11 that was 9 11 2007 uh, <laughs> yeah he said if he sold less he would retire and then didn't so <laughs> correct yeah you know he got bludgeoned he just kind of 50s uh he's good like that like he'll mm-hmm. he'll take a catastrophic loss and just be like oh well anyways look at this idiot like <laughs> i think that's always why it was so funny he was like i'm gonna get rick ross out of here and it's like i don't know if you like you know you're gonna try but i ross did bounce off his shoulders man yeah that was he miscalculated that one but to his credit he was like he's literally a cop why 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 is everyone okay with this it was just a different time the well, era cause changed because I'm, I'm cool when everybody was like <laughs> so cool uh, <laughs> you heard port of miami wow Ooh. albert anastasia we, come on man i don't care well okay who he was locking up none of my business we also were there was a void of fat rappers at the time like there really wasn't anyone else we need one at least you know what i mean like if big x had been also going off at the same time rick ross might have been out of here mm. that time is everything everything but i do very much remember 50 cent or like get rich or die trying 50 cent the massacre 50 cent pointing to the numbers and being like, yeah, mm-hmm. Ja Rule shit's out of Even Jay-Z, when he said, like, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like, that was kind of being like, yeah, listen, you can say it stinks, but look how much I'm selling. Clearly, people disagree. And it's like, that really has nothing to do with music. Uh, mm-hmm. Especially, in, less so than ever, I would say, right now, when you have literal streaming farms that yeah. some of these companies and record labels are are buying to manipulate the numbers they well i mean people would say and it's true that they would just i'll we'll just go buy five hundred thousand copies of your whatever to push it instead of streaming farm so the you've always been able to get around the numbers and i think that's the main reason sure. why i don't really consider them at all in terms like they they're a part of it but if we're talking the quality of the music i i, I don't care I, I really don't care i mean uh ka passed what was that october maybe late september he was by every metric an underground rapper out of New York. And also a former either firefighter or cop. I know he worked. He was first responder. Hmm. Uh, but he passed. People were, were caught like that. I can't imagine what his highest selling album or project mm-hmm. was. Like, I, But no one, when he passed, the rap industry was just like, rest in peace to one of the best lyricists we've all ever heard. That's what this has always been about. If your music it was a stinks, Houston rapper, yeah, I can't remember his past recent, but the similar. I mean, Drakeo, you're talking about. I don't know how, how much how oh, many yeah. numbers did he do? You know what I'm saying? But his his name, his rep was good where he needed it to be. Music, I, I mean, Greedo uh, just locked up, uh, maybe on house yeah. arrest now. I can't remember where he's currently at, but not a national draw by any stretch, but mm-hmm. an absolute legend where he lays his head. I get. I wonder. Did sell? Did all that? Was it kind of the same track? You go towards sales and away from regionalism because it used to be. I don't care sure. what I sold out there. I sold fifty k out my trunk, man. I don't care about your platinum or whatever. And Atlanta had their own, and New Orleans, and L.A. and New York, and now everybody want to sound like whoever the hot city is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if I'm from Houston trying to sound like Atlanta then yeah, I need you nationally to fuck with me. Because I don't, mm-hmm. I kind of, you kind of skip past the get your city, get my street, get my corner, get my block, get my community, then move outside the city, knowing that I've got this I, fail safe kind of. Like, I, if nothing else, they got me. Foundation. Go, yeah, I'm not going to go like brick. I'm not going to go zeros out here. If nothing right. else, I'll pull up on my street and hear my Zero. Street. Perfect example. <laughs> Zero <laughs> himself. He's hit nationally a couple of times. In Houston, a god. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, literally a god. People have his old mixtape cuts memorized front to back. That's not happening. His first album was already platinum. People's like, what do you mean? And he's like, like, that's the whole point. You (laughs) don't have to buy a copy. I am already good. Right. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, I remember when Ludacris came up his story was like he was just hustling out of his trunk like you were just saying 50 cent power of the dollar was like technically columbia but it didn't really break containment outside of new york and i i 
can't remember who it was, if it was just Blaze or someone. So they were in the studio. No, it was Irv Gotti, actually. Irv Gotti was in the studio, and he was telling everybody, like, if you have something, release it today. Because there is a bomb ready to go off, and it is 50 cents, get rich or die trying. So if you feel like you want to make some noise anytime soon, it needs to be today. Because he is taking, at le- if we're lucky, the next year. If we're lucky, it's a one-year thing. And it wasn't. <laughs> it was, it we're was, taped like dynamite. <laughs> It was everywhere. It was fucking everywhere. So yeah, that we don't really have that anymore. I'd like I've I've seen some people say hopefully this brings regionalism back. I think that's a we're that's dead. That's never gonna happen. I, what I do mm. I think more people are gonna like uh people from uh, the Bronx are gonna make LA albums now. Like that's what I think is gonna happen. <laughs> right. Uh Aesop Rocky, uh yeah. IP music, yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I could see that. I would just only hope it brings it back to like the places that did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? If this is going to start L- getting L.A. back to doing L.A., like Atlanta came up or the South and came up only working with the South because nobody else would play it. Right. So if it's what it gets back to that, then no, I would support that. But if it, yeah, no, let's everybody get hyphy. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I won't stand. For, I promise I won't stand for that. Uh, I would be interested to see if he, if his next album, because like you said, there is no Tyler, the creator. There's no, mm. like even Vince Staples. Uh, there are multiple songs on this. I would have loved for some Vince Staples. I wonder if the next one will be like, here are the rest of the LA rapper, the like the ones, you know, that, well, and that's hearing and seeing that. That's I was like, okay, maybe it is. Cause he's, I don't think Kendrick does it for the business for the money but he is still a businessman so it's sure. like okay like I, I know where my bread's butter i can put on the young boys and then but also still have what yg and dr Dr- right. like you know what i'm saying have the la mount rushmore whoever i can get anybody is essentially the as big as you are as small as you are if i call you picking up the phone because this was a very a newer aged la record like he could go classic la on the next one yeah and again this one sound there's like a lot of again hyphy which is bay stuff so it's like if he wants to go specific la or specific hyphy maybe sacramento he just works different different sounds (laughs) (laughs) it's it was very funny like some of the complaints i've seen there's no quotables uh there's where's the i thought he was mr poetry what are you talking like that's well, all we, people complain you can't about. shake your ass in the club it is mate <laughs> i can they say i for sure can squabble up is to be the have multiple asses shaking they said it's bangers they said so drake fan y'all just saying y'all just want to shake y'all ass in the club 38 year old man is that what y'all ask i said that's why but they don't even have to be like this man why can't it just be the music <laughs> jesus christ I don't I don't hate all of the negativity, but a, a heater is a heater. You know what I mean? If if you're denying yourself the the listening experience, that's a, like that doesn't affect me at all. Mm-hmm. I had this album come out. I tweeted about I just tweeted a, a lyric from one of the diss tracks. Like this is a classic. You don't have one. I do. This is an instant classic to me. This is five mics. I like it better than damn. I'll first listen. Yeah, did you listen to this um, one front to back? Did you buy? <laughs> I listened to the Shuffle. first song once, the second song twice, the three song three times. All the <laughs> I, I pyramided it. Um, I said, "You won't get me twice, Duckworth." No, I, I don't know, but I do like. I really enjoy it. I don't know if it's the best project I that came out that day. BFB the Pac Man came out, so I it's it's neck and neck. I think it's one A and one B. Boldy too, like we said. I I can't speak on the whole project other than I know Boldy James and I know Harry Fraud, so I know that was also a classic. I did listen to bit. I I think he may be the funniest rapper ever. Not even hyperbole. Wow. I was gonna say the funniest rapper like currently out right now that makes me laugh out loud. But he got Sada Baby, another funniest one out there. And I was like, I I think BFD <laughs> just got it, man. Like in. The- on the intro, one of the lines is, "If I was Aaliyah's daddy, I would have shot. I would have killed Robert." 
and there's a gunshot, and then he says, "Yeah, <laughs> fuck R. Kelly," and then he just starts rapping again. <laughs> it's laugh out loud funny, Mick. That is very funny. It was very funny. Uh, he he did like the on the radar freestyle. He got I won't say the other line. He did one. The guy came in, was like, "Bro, you can't say." It. He's like, "Man, they're not gonna cancel me." He's like, "No, you understand? They're gonna cancel all of us. You understand? <laughs> not just you." <laughs> So we're not too concerned with you, uh, yeah, Mr. No, Mr. Mr. Pac Man. <laughs> Lunch crew, I'm part of that yellow. Yeah, you know how much uh, these green lights cost. You know, you know what our budget is on the color green. He's like, hey, you can't cancel me. He's like, you don't understand, BFB, Mr. BFB. Yeah, <laughs> don't shut our lights off. Where, like, where does this rank? Because immediately I put it as second favorite behind I'm a section 80 man always have been I I can say what it goes past I don't know where I don't but yeah I I think it goes past that on listen through some of the because I went back and listened to like all the the hearts just to see it's like here I guess 15 years of evolution, man. It's like, if I told you this was the same guy on, on sound on the heart part one and six, you'd be like, yeah, I can hear it. But I'm like, no, he's gotten so much better. And he was, he was scoring 30 a game. Then what if I right. told you he's playing defense, uh, shooting from range and getting triple doubles. Now. It's like LeBron. LeBron could always get the 30 the way he gets it. Now he mm-hmm. just knows the game better. Yeah. And doesn't need to get it to affect it. I, no, I still need some more. I think I honestly need to respin. Probably, it's probably whole discography time to see. I I am ready to. I, I'm ready to rank the hearts. I can't rank the albums. Oh wow, let's hear it. For me personally, I don't know if anything will ever put the heart part two out of first place. For me, first, I won't say it's the best. I'll say it's my definite favorite. I really like the part five. Just him going through like the Nipsey, Kobe, OJ, the Marvin Gaye sample. It might, I, the hard part six might be third for me. I read like the sample, again, the story, all that. Part three, the one with Absol and J Rock, they're all going. And then the lap, it's like something got to be loud. I think it's between four and one. And even then, they all bangers. Like, it's just a 30 minute playlist I listened to last night. And it's like, boy, this is, this is just tremendous. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it sounds like you think this guy's all right. No, I did not say that. Let's <laughs> it's been what what seven albums, a few mixtapes. Let's see. Y'all so quick to crown a guy. Let's just see. <laughs> I do I do like uh on part six, like how much respect he has for Absol. Just an insane person, like a and J Rock too. Like it is very funny him talking about like, oh yeah, of all of us, the record companies pick J Rock and and his his lead singles, the ghetto. It's just like I wonder what image <laughs> they were trying to push here. I can't believe that was the Sing route. Song they and I love uh J Rock. I think we all do, but I, I very funny now looking back, knowing because Kendrick, like you said, the had to learn to rap from Absol, and then they all picked up Schoolboy Q by his bootstraps and said, "We will teach you the English language, my friend." And not Dragonfly was talking about that. I think didn't Q have like the first hit? Like he was the last one to start rapping and was hands on the wheel, like the first. Maybe I don't know. That, but... The that J Rock song hit. I would have to see the numbers. It did feature like tail end prime Little Wayne. You know what I mean? That was a big mm. song. Mm. Hands on the wheel was definitely after that. And I don't, it's tough. I, I was in a different, like I wasn't listening to the radio a lot. I know that song was big, but it was big where I was going. I don't know how big right. it was nationally. That's I know it's not small. Christ. Yeah, that was what habits and contradictions. It's April 3rd, 2012. Yeah, that was a different time. Sir. I mean, it went gold, so it was doing some numbers. Yeah. And even then, no, I that's how I know Kendrick no ball. If you if you a real 
rap listener, you know Soul was always the star, man. I'll still maintain if we're talking about only only the bar, and I think legit think Kendrick would tell you the same. If we're talking only oh, the bars, sure, don't go with any of them, any of them. If you're talking only delivery, I think J Rock. I mean, not that his bars are trash, but if you're talking about like making a line hit your ear and resonate with you, J Rock up there with the best of them. So oh, when yeah. Kendrick's saying, "No, I legit, I studied these guys. I'm not like I'm not. It's no humble, no fake humble. Oh no, they're just as good as me. I think he really. He's like, no, we were all kind of on the same path. My it took a different direction, but we all still good and they all still nice and we all still solid. And there will not be an album. <laughs> I wanna I'd like to make that clear, everybody. Maybe. We what if the album is bl- <laughs> the black hippie album everybody's wanted for nine? That's I the mean, album. Uh, mountains moved. I I, I, don't, I don't know how else to describe it. I do wonder if he was if he recorded this and put it out hoping. They're like, hey fellas, what if what if we did get the old gang back together? Oh, my bad. My bad, fellas. Sorry I became like the biggest star ever. Well, even I was like, is that what he's apologizing for? Because it sounds like just with TD, I know they were having a thing like their artists wanted to drop music that they weren't dropping. And I was like, I didn't I think Kendrick would be exempt from that. And now it's like, I don't know if he was. I don't know if was right. that some of the frustration? Like he had been trying to get some of this stuff out, and it was like, I'll like we're all in this car together, but we're not going. I have to. I gotta go somehow. Right. Yeah. It's pop. People have complained for years about how slow they are at releasing stuff. And Isaiah Rashad, I remember his second album took forever, and I believe it was done for a long time. Um, Scissors took forever and like hasn't left the chart since it dropped. <laughs> so people are like, I, like maybe they, listen. I, I was like again. <laughs> I don't think you can base it only on Kendrick, of course, but it's like if they are just operating on an older school model of we don't have to drop something every two months just because somebody else does. Right. You can drop every two years or one year, two year, three, five. You know what I'm saying? If you got the fan base and all that for it. You could, I mean, I don't even think you could argue against that they've had the biggest year this year. Blue Lips came out first. Mm. Dochi came out, what was that, two months ago? And that album's been yeah. massive. So are they all, is he even still TDE or no? I don't think so, but I like it's, just TG Lang, I think. Odd Future is not Odd Future anymore, but I'll always right. look at them under that light. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Former acts 05 to 2012. Or excuse me, 2022, 2022. Former acts Kendrick, Black Hippie, and Reason. Current. Yeah. So he is for day free is former. And some of these names I haven't heard of. That'll happen. Right? Not to say they're not nice, of course, but now that yeah, J Rock been since 05, Abso 07, Schoolboy was there since 09. And yeah, they was doing that for four years before they picked up Schoolboy. <laughs> He's doing okay for him. To, plays a little golf every now and then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a couple gold jackets, green jackets, nothing too crazy. He does okay. He does okay. Yeah. Yeah. What a rock. I mean, mm-hmm. I think about it. Odd Future was happening at the same time, kind of. They were just younger. Uh, all of that was happening in LA, and that doesn't count Vince Staples, and that doesn't count who else has come out of LA recently. That's it. Vince so Staples, cool. the only, uh, Vince Staples, the only he's he's in the middle. Of, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I I feel like he was very odd future. I don't nah, know good. that he was ever. A, yeah, that's what I mean. So he's in the middle of the Venn diagram. It's Vince Staples, <laughs> it's TDE and <laughs> the punch, odd future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. I don't. There hasn't been anything else to my knowledge. No, nah. I mean the game. My game was during some of that time, but later on, for sure. Um, I was trying to think of just L.A. from around that time. Like Dom. Dom had a little run. Yeah. He didn't get, he didn't get no, the status no. of those guys. Um, who's Buddy, who had the album with uh, Alchemist last year? Who's like Dom? Oh, uh, Larry June. Yeah, Larry June. They kind of exist in their own. We're just too cool, Lane. Chill guys, man. <laughs> they are they are the chillest of guys that's fair that, that should be the tape bro the chill guy mix everybody has ever been for la just 
well, if you not just keeping it in LA, but the the chill guy Mount Rushmore, I feel like currency's on there. Currency's a pretty chill guy. Yeah, he's pretty. I used to think Lil Wayne was pretty chill. Now I, now I just I was don't gonna know. Get, that's what I was going to end with. Uh, Dude, I just don't know, man. The reporting, and I put reporting quotes around that. I saw uh, Complex immediately. It was like Lil Wayne responds to Verse about him. I said, Verse? Right. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, a uh, scathing response for a Super Bowl <laughs> snub. And yeah, Lil Wayne... He's become Joe L and B. Like, how did I get this hey. watch? Crying. How did I get this album? Crying. Like, what? I saw someone else today, and I know they were stirring shit. They they were saying old little Wayne would have would have already jumped on not like us and destroyed Kendrick. Now he's tweeting about it. Leave me out of it. I, I'm just an old man. It's like you're forty two. Like you're. I feel like even then, I feel like he would have jumped on not like us and just de- not even Kend- but just destroyed it. Like destroyed yes. the beat to the point where it's like, no, I'm. If you're talking top dogs, I got to be mentioned. And even it wasn't a, I thought me working hard would make this guy proud, who I named one of my first mixtapes after and had the fake tattoos on the eyes. Like, I I thought I was doing it for him and he was disappointed. Damn. Anyway, like, I, yeah, I didn't think that it wasn't a diss it, at he all. He hated Lil Wayne for 45 straight minutes. <laughs> It for sure wasn't a diss. It was upsetting to see Little Wayne take it that way. It's upsetting to see him take this whole Super Bowl thing this way. Sad. Just it sad. Is. So not a chill guy. No. And also, like I was thinking about, I've been thinking about Little Wayne a lot. Like it, it's it is the same playbook. Like I'm the best rapper alive is all Kendrick's been saying all year. Wonder where the fuck he got that from. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, he he approaching ever now again have mm-hmm. you I th- to where he has to be mentioned even again if you don't dis or if you don't agree that he's your goat or whatever i do think he's approaching that status and i last question i had ha, do you recall has anybody ever like premiered anything new at the super bowl like a new song i remember last year usher did his like did played the hits but was like, hey, go to if you go to streaming right now, there's my new song. But he didn't play it. He was like, right. go to it. You're gonna be at the page. I think like Rihanna had like new Fenty drops and stuff coming, but she didn't do any, she didn't have any new songs to do. So I was like, is anybody ever like premiered the new song? Do you even get there? And I was like, would he be the different? <laughs> would he switch that up? If, like, if, he if did... there was an album. He dropped it that or that day or whatever. Like, yeah, y'all, as soon as y'all finish watching this, go stream, whatever. GNX2. This is the new whatever. I, I can't imagine anyone's done anything. They've done mashups, which are right. technically new. You know what I mean? When they had NSYNC and Nelly and me out there. Right, like, they were Rolling was... Stones and so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's like technically new uh but also clearly not like what you're talking about no i i it's such a weird piece of americana where it's like the artist doesn't get paid for it <laughs> like it's mm-hmm. it's all very strange it's like no no this will be the largest show you ever do but comfortably you uh, make money I'm, from it just not from us Right, yeah, we are all saying, we're, and we're selling it. Like someone's making a ton of money. It's the NCAA, uh, man. Yeah, you can get paid all the money you want, bro. We're not paying it though, you that. <laughs> and it's an honor for you to do it. Mm, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and yeah, I, I feel like it's so finely manicured. It's the only a concert you can gamble on. You know what I mean? Like, it, first song is a big one. Got to be which I don't off right. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do any of the diss tracks now that this has come yeah, out. I kind of don't either. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe not like us, but I don't think it's going to be at the pop out when he comes out doing Euphoria. Like I don't think that's how he's kicking it off. I don't, I, I need to tap in with Absol because if Absol was like, I told him to do Euphoria six straight times. I think Kendrick would live <laughs> a thousand he percent. Would. He just oh, puts 1, his hand on Absol and just does six sixteen in L.A. for four <laughs> minutes, just looking into his eyes. I said, "Man, what a show, huh? Isn't this something?" 
If he just comes out and you hear those alchemist piano keys, it's like, oh no. <laughs> he did this, he does none of the songs, or those are the only songs he does. Yeah. Dear Here Adonis. Goodell's like <laughs> Kendrick, you promised. This was no, no, these uh, are the he, new verses. These aren't the old words. He just did not like us remix new verses. Yeah, these are much more scathing. I found out so many more things. Uh <laughs> Bitcoin. I was just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> My final uh, question: Did it upset you? Yes. To find out he's a Pepsi guy. You know what? That line. You have to think outside yourself sometimes, Mick. But you also had to think about he's rapping about when they were struggling. <laughs> if I was struggling, I, you know what I mean. We didn't have a. <laughs> we wasn't even watching the ESPYS, Mick. We didn't have it on us. We're watching World watching Star. B Bumper. Yeah. <laughs> watching world star the pump drinking pepsi <laughs> he's telling you how down bad he was so i can never sure. you know what i'm saying i could never be offended off someone's Come recognizing up. their growth yeah <laughs> i said pepsi get get off my phone i said get this shit out of here drink well, yeah, like right <laughs> Like I said, I I ordered the the vinyl and the the cassette already. This is it's gonna be in the Jimmy heavy. No, it's good. The thing, it, the real last thing I'll say, I do think with each of his last couple projects, like around, it was like Good Kid to Pimple Butterfly. It was like the skits at the end or the beginning, and it's like, man, it's a minute and a half before the song you want to hear. I I think that's. Kind of why I'm surprised I didn't click with Damn. I feel like he started getting more concise. Sure. It was either at the very end, the very beginning, or it was just part of the song. Like he just makes mm -hmm. it part of like the first verse. So you're not thinking like, where is the song? This is the song. This one is pretty. Uh, does Every song cuts off like pretty concise, right? Yes. Nothing has like a long fade out. No fade outs. Uh, nothing runs into the next track. It's like, boom. Yeah. So I was like, I, I like the the concisity, Mr. Lamar. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a lot of, not even just artists, but writers, comedians, as they grow within the craft. That is one of the things. It's it's all right. Can we strip this a little bit more? Are we overproducing? Are we thinking too much about this? And yeah, I, I think he has completely mastered the craft of song making. I think he, I think he's mastered his craft. Like sure. whatever his sure. he knows sure. he knows exactly what beats he would sound good on. He knows exactly what pockets it would be. He know I know people don't like like the weird voice thing. I feel like he scales it up and down like appropriate like less and more as needed. Now. Um mm -hmm. now it's, I mean you just see a guy who's put in that kind of work over again 15 years which is crazy to think about and I think he's 37. So he's old for rap, but not old for <laughs> the world. So uh, who knows? Could be seven more albums. It, I think it could. It, like the era of rappers need to be young is kind of over. Well, obviously, it's it's one of the younger genres to exist in music. So we just didn't have like a big case study right. of older rappers. As long as he doesn't start talking about uh, buying uh, buildings on Crenshaw and... <laughs> You know, who got, you know who got him that Super Bowl. So you know it's coming. Just enjoy Kendrick before the uh, art reps. I, I very much like... $12. There are so many uh, rock stars aged with their music. Mm -hmm. And I very much could see him aging that way where mm -hmm. there is still some social commentary whether or not you agree with even what he's saying, but there is some social commentary. There is some maturity uh to his his albums uh i i do think he'll age pretty well especially like i said i think he's gonna be dropping feverishly over the next 12 months like i don't think we just have one coming i think we have one coming before the super bowl but i think over the next 12 months we'll see three or four yeah i think he like we're at a well not the first generation but when rap got big, those guys didn't get to age out because they got killed when they were like 22. Also true. Yeah, also so we, we definitely lost the era there. Then we got to the point where it's like, okay, why is Jay-Z? Why are these old guys? Why are you still rapping? Go 
go make a coffee company. And then, but Jada Kiss was like, I'm going to do both. <laughs> like, I'm right. going to make a coffee company, a Styles P. I'm going to get my smoothies going and still rap. The Griselda guys, them guys, what, late 30s, early 40s, still. Oh, yeah, rap. they started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like so, it's just like, oh, okay, like, if you want, you know, the young boy rap, that's cool too. But we got something for uh, 41 plus that kind of wasn't an option before that if it wasn't just the old guy rapping the young stuff. Like, I'm 40 trying to rap like I'm 32 now. That was the old version we had. And now it's like, no, these guys is father, grandfathers now. They have businesses. They have, they've learned so much. They The perspective from them, I think, is interesting. I think that's where you get to age into it, where it's like, oh, man, Kendrick's still 40 rapping? Well, it's like, well, like you said, what is he rapping about? If he's just right. rapping about the same shit he's always been rapping about, then what's, what's the issue? As long as it sounds good. Yeah, and it's like I think Nas winning Grammys late into his career well, yeah. helps because Nas, I mean, the middle of his career stinks, uh, and I say that as a Nas fan. But the beginning was as strong as anyone's ever had and ever will have, and the ending, these last five albums, you could slot three through eight on his top ten. You know what I mean? And Even I don't if, think he's slowing down. Nas got to be with 50, 55. And I don't think he's, I don't think his pen's getting worse in old no. age so, or slowing no. down any. So I think these guys are going to have a nice, like a nice aging. I think Kendrick's also of the, like Kendrick grew up watching you know, Dre, NWA, all those guys. I think guys of that line is like, yeah, rap is a way out. And once you get out, you're good. I think for Kendrick, he's like, this is what I want to do. I'm like, I'm a professional rapper. Snoop did it to make money, get away from the lifestyle. Now you're doing commercials and all. Like, I feel like that used to be the dream. Ice Cube, you do movies and start leads, you do whatever. Now Kendrick's like, no, I'm I'm a rapper is what I do. I think Cole's like that as well. Like rap is just what I do. I'm going to do this as long as I can hold a pen. Because it's now right. that I be attained to, not just getting out of your situation. That I think is one of the largest differences. Like I always, always, and I, I don't hold this against people. I always viewed Drake as someone who wanted to be famous more than wanted to be a rapper. You know what I mean? Like he, I mean, he started as an actor again, don't hold any of that against him, but I think he fame was always his goal the and goal. like, like Michael Jackson level fame, which mm -hmm. he's largely achieved as bad as this year has been for him. He's largely achieved all of his goals. <clears throat> Kendrick, I think, uh, is like, no, I'm Jimmy Page. I'm I'm Kurt Cobain. Like, I think like he is a, a rap rock star. He's like, I am. Uh, this is what I get up for. I do my push-ups and, and burpees in the park so I can perform longer on stage. Yeah, I'm a professional, like, to the, uh, to every sense of it, mm -hmm. really. And no, I do agree. I do think we get more than I think we get a project by yeah February tenth or whatever. But I I do think we get another probably surprise drop. He just does back to back yeah. like February tenth and eleventh. You're that new Kendrick? No, uh, no, no, the the second uh, post Super Bowl new Kendrick. I mean, I saw people talking about Kendrick today in a way that made me go check to see if he had dropped something else, and it was just somebody from LA who knows him maybe uh, but posted a screenshot of a conversation they had about Drake streaming uh with the white guy um but I, like it, it surprised me yeah, zero like oh the, yeah the one and a half whites were streaming <laughs> it surprised me zero that like oh there could be another full length album by the biggest rapper in the world 3 days after he dropped it. like i was just like oh yeah of course there's another one no duh <laughs> no fucking shit. He only put out 12 songs. He said right, he is, had at least nothing. that. I was kind of, if it wasn't going to be a full LA album, I was hoping it was just 12 diss tracks. <laughs> it's like it once we might. hadn't heard yet. Still, look, still. Listen, let me check Apple while we recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Drake. 16 tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Big middle finger. Just <laughs> <laughs> He did it like the golf playlist. I hate you. You're from Toronto. You bitch. He could never. <laughs> he could never. You talk about uh, a region that hasn't swayed from its roots ever. No, nah, they couldn't. Wouldn't even know how. Couldn't. Uh, but yeah, that's happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope you at safe, warm, bellies full, 
and uh, just full of, of vitriol. That's where I knew Kendrick was on my side. He said, yeah, the chill dog, get the fuck out of my, where this is the year of hate. <laughs> this is the year of hate. I'm going to be uh, riding in this unbelievable classic car, which the values on those, that's what will tell me how classic of an album this is. I want to see the <laughs> last GNX sold <laughs> Thursday and the, the <laughs> next three years of sales, how those look. Well, this is, and again, Jenkins and Jones, they were like, this is, I mean, kind of another not like us. I guess up, LeJethro was like, hey, or excuse me, Rick Ross said it during the beat, LeJethro brought it up. Rick Ross was like, I know Drake a white boy because he ain't got no old, you got all the money in the world and you ain't got no old school. Mm -hmm. Kendra was like, okay, let me get the old school, like the one that is reading a bit, like beat the Ferrari in the head. Unbelievable. Head races. Yeah, like, a, <laughs> like looks great, but was like, no, it's some shit under the hood. Of that car from the year he was born i think he's just like no i'm i like I, I come from this again i'm built by this there ain't no imitating because if all the everything goes away tomorrow i could go right back in this car drive right back to where i came from and carry on and whitney shared the album so that was big did she follow day free well not mr know. morale uh, <laughs> the original noticer i just put it all together <laughs> mother i mother i uh, i again that was the worst song of the beef that's no no need to reiterate it maybe the worst song of the year maybe ever it wasn't good and neither is thanksgiving dinner we'll see you guys hey see you <laughs>